Yo, what's up? It's your boy Ryan Rab Beats. I have to put my sunglasses on because it's so bright and my allergies are just kicking my butt. Um, today, we got a special package. I got the notification that it's right up front. You know what it is? If you don't know what it is, you'll find out. So let's get to it. See what's delivered. Shush, dog. Dogs are barking. All right, I took my sunglasses off. Man, can you see my eyes look so bad? Ah, so we got this package here. This is actually for the Tajima. So you guys, something broke. We're gonna go fix it. All right, let's open it up. Open. There we go. Let's open it this way. I did get my other package from. Um, oh, I got this from a company called So Many Parts. Remember you guys saw me ordering that. Uh, I got the other part. Let me grab it. It's um, reciprocators. Um, I bought two of them, which I believe is for uh, my machine. But I bought one. A different one because I wasn't sure which is what or what's what so I bought one which is a little more expensive but I don't need it so I'm gonna have to send it to somebody that might need it that makes sense all right so oh this one's a different color crap yeah, so by the way, this is the belt that I needed. Um, you guys saw on the uh, other video, I'm gonna put it right here. If you guys haven't seen it yet, just watch it after this or before this or whatever. Um, the Tajima broke, the belt broke. But anyways, I was looking at this and I was like, wait a minute, it's too thin. So I'll grab the broken one and I just mashed it up. Yeah, look at it. It's right, it's right, 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 right. It's the right one. <laughs> But anyways, if you guys missed it, there, there's the broken belt. Broken belt. So if you guys wonder, I did get this at sew, like sewing, S-E-W, manyparts.com. So here's the belt. Pretty nice. Nice looking belt, man. But I don't know why it's white. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you know, it's, it's Tajima. It has to be this weird looking green. <laughs> so, um, I forgot what, I think I had to get like 59 inches. I got one that's slightly longer because you had to cut it anyway. So I just want to make sure the teeth are the same. It fits right in there. Teeth are the same. So it looks like we're right there. I'm gonna cut it a little after, like right there just in case. All right, I was able to cut it. Um, well, all right, I was able to cut it. Let me show you guys what I did. I was gonna cut it here, make it a little bit longer, but I just realized, you know what? I don't wanna cut this thing twice. Let me just get to the actual length. All right. So, and also realized when doing this is, see, this thing has marks on it. So again, this is like a timing belt. It has a couple of marks here. But this one, um, I saw that it has, see those little two black marks? That's actually where the plate is. So we're going to do the same mark on this thing to make sure it has the same location of the plate, uh, the, where the plate would be at. All right, so that's the mark. I also put plate <laughs> on the top. So, oh, oh, don't get caught. Okay, now let's go ahead and um, put this thing on the machine. Come on. All right, so we are at the machine. Let's take this cover off. So now we're gonna fish this thing back through. So I like to put this in over here. And 
and then go through this way put this in here like so okay so now I'm gonna make sure Now we gotta do is connect the two together. Like that. So let's get our plate um, thing here. Let me see. You guys can see that, right? All right. I'm gonna hold that down while we screw this in. I'm gonna do it by hand first. Let's get that thing snugged in by hand, so it won't it won't go back or it won't unravel, I should say. Okay. Again, this one has the magnetic sensor for this, so make sure you put it the right way. Also, I was saying I think this one is stripped. I can feel it. I can feel that it's not going, so we're just gonna make sure this is on here snug. I think you can get a new plate. Maybe I should have got a new plate, you know? But it is what it is. It's not gonna go anywhere. All right, so now we gotta do is tighten up the tension. Man, I should have got a new plate, but whatever. All right, so this is the plate tensioner. Um, you basically screw this in and this will pull this way. It'll tighten this up. So again, I like to do is, I like to do it by hand first. I mean, you don't have to, but. That's all the way at the end. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this up again, and then uh, just a little bit there, and then I'll move it from the plate, I'll move it forward a little bit. Okay, so I move the, um, the belts closer, tighten, tighten up that plate. Now we can go ahead and do this thing again. Now, I think that's good, see the tension? Now we just gotta uh, set that screw back forward. There it is. So we won't move around. Then tighten this. Yeah, so that looks great. Um, let's put the plate back on there. Or the cover plate, I should say. Now, for me, as a habit, I like to go every other on the screws, and then I'll, and then I'll do the rest. I don't know why it's just a habit for me to do it that way. And I am missing some screws. Oh, there it is. It's like doing like you know when you do when you're changing the. Um, the tires, you don't want to go this way on the lug nuts, you want to do it a star pattern so it'll sit centered and correctly. This the same thing, but that's just uh, because if you're off, it's easier to unscrew a couple instead of unscrewing all of them. You know, I was thinking about it, maybe I should do my test first before I uh, start closing the thing, right. A lot of stuff happening during the week here, and the uh, ride beats home. A lot of stuff going on. All right, let's do our stitch. Let's turn the machine on. Let's see, we're doing we're doing the the eye the eye test, right? All right, so we're doing the eye test. Make sure it's eye test one. Let's load it. Let's get, hey, you gotta be facing this way, dude. Why are you scared? 
Uh, we're gonna go one through 15. One, two, three, four. I don't think I changed it since then. So make sure. There we go. After now we go A, B, C, D, E, F. That's it. All right. All right, we're in the shoe, I would say. Looks like we're back in business. Look at that. So I want to show you guys what happened last time. Oh, I can't even open this thing. Watch your fingers. Um, so this was our first stitch. As you guys can see, it was um, it was stitching fine, and then it got to. Let me get. Let me, let me let me get so I, a pointer. So it was stitching fine, then it got here and it went sideways. Same thing with this one, it went sideways. We couldn't figure it out. Then we come to find out it was the belt. So we're moving this side to side, like I was saying. Oh, can't do it now because it's on. But um, it was like, it was moving and then it'll slip. Like it would start sliding. So I come to find out that belt was broken. <sighs> Once again, bada ding, bada doom. There it is, broken belt. But looks like we are back in business, people. We are back in business, man. Super cool. There it is. You guys wanna see the back? Uh, here's the back of it. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Looks like I gotta, this one I gotta tighten a little more, but it's not bad. Yeah, anyways, this is like part two of the Tajima, broken Tajima, whatever it is. Uh, we got it fixed, we got it running, which is super awesome. I'm glad they still make parts for this stuff. So that one was cool. So just, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep grinding. Peace out.